This is a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine. This girl, Shelly, she was the worst chicken you ever saw. Horror movies made her scream every time. So anyway, Shelly's nightmare started in the cafe, the day her friend Jennifer wanted to go out on a date. She asked Shelly if she'd sub in for her for babysitting. Jennifer was supposed to sit at the Thompson place that night, way out in the country, way up on that hill. The Thompson place was a scary old mansion. Ooh, Shelly got the shakes just thinking about it. It reminded her of those movies where a bunch of teenagers go into a spooky old house and never come out. But Jennifer wasn't above shaming the girl into taking her place. Oh, what's the matter, Shelly? Scared? I guess the taunt just got under Shelly's skin. A strange look got into her eyes, like determination or something. Very, very bad timing, I'd say. Very bad. So at 9 o'clock sharp, Shelly knocked on the Thompson's door. Everything went as usual. Parents were gone. Check. Kids were in bed. Check. Fridge was raided. Check. Caroonie. And she settled in for a little TV to pass the time. And then the phone rang. Well, Shelly figured it would be Jennifer. But when she lifted the receiver, this gross, mumbling voice said, Have you checked the children? She tried to scream, but it got clogged up in her throat. So she slammed the phone down. She was paralyzed with fear till, the, till a thought crept into her head. Well, what if Jennifer set this up to scare her? What if it was some kind of practical joke? Shelly was almost calmed down when the phone rang again. This time, she fell off the couch and she tried hiding under the coffee table. She just wouldn't answer it. She just let it ring, right? And what if it was Jennifer calling back to say how funny the whole thing was? Oh, Shelly couldn't stand the ringing and, and lunged for the phone. Hello? Same creepy voice, same creepy tone. Have you checked the children? No frozen fear this time. Uh-uh. Total panic. She ripped the phone right out of the socket and threw it across the room. Shelly raced around the downstairs, shutting every blind, locking every door, and pushing the big furniture up against the outside doors. Then there was nothing for her to do but wait. Alone in that big old house with that stupid clock just ticking and ticking and ticking. You could hear it all the way from upstairs. Upstairs. Then the thought hit her. Maybe she should check on the kids. After all, it's only a stupid joke, right? Jennifer was probably having the biggest laugh of her life. At least that's, that's what Shelley hoped. She headed for the foot of the stairs. There's nothing to be scared of, right? Even though the stairs were awfully dark and creepy. But just as her foot hit the bottom step... <gasps> it was coming from the study this time. Shelly tore into the spooky old room. It had stuffed bear heads on the walls. She whipped the phone right off the hook. It was the voice. You haven't checked the children! You haven't checked the children! Shelly was frozen with fear, but a thought suddenly calmed her down. Well, she could phone the operator and get them to trace the call and scare the heck out of Jennifer, or arrest her, or something. So she called the operator, but they said that she had to wait for the creepy guy to call back before they could trace the call. And just as soon as she hung up, the phone started to ring again. Shelly snapped up the receiver and held it to her ear, waiting for the creepy voice, but no one was there. She breathed a sigh of relief. Wrong number. But just as she hung up the phone, it rang again. Stop calling me, she screamed. I know it's you, Jennifer. This isn't very funny. But it was the operator. Get out, she screamed. Why, asked Shelly. We've traced the call, said the operator. It's coming from a second line inside the house. Get out now. This is a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine who got real brave and now babysits anyone, anywhere. As long as there isn't more than